This will be a quick update video on some of my fruit trees that have set fruit. First up will be uh, these fig trees. Uh, the Peter's honey that is in the front of this group of figs here is the one that has uh, done the best. It's put on the most growth and it has several figs that are developing on it. These fig trees here in this group here have been in the ground for about 18 months. Last season I harvested somewhere around 30 figs or so off of this fig tree here. And this will be the first year that I, I get a harvest after it's been in the ground for a full year. And it certainly looks like it's gonna be a pretty good harvest. All the branches have uh, several figs that have set. And as I mentioned on a previous video, I plan on posting a year-end harvest video of all my fruit trees and vegetable garden as soon as the growing season comes to an end. I'll let you know what kind of harvest I get off of the, this tree here and the other fruit trees that I have growing in my backyard orchard. This other tree here, this one, this is uh, an Excel fig. This tree hasn't put on as much growth as the Peter's honey, but it does have a fair amount of figs. And over on the other side, over here, this is a blackjack fig. It's put on the least amount of growth out of the, these figs here, but it does have a few figs that have set. I'll be pruning the Peter's honey so that the Excel and this blackjack fig can have a chance to catch up to the Peter's honey. And here is my little Miss Figgy fig tree that's growing in a 15 gallon container. It also has managed to put on a good amount of fruit and it should be uh, ready to harvest uh, within a few weeks. And this one is my Celeste fig tree. This tree is a steady producer. It has well over a hundred figs that managed to set. I recently started to harvest a few. These figs are excellent in flavor, although I'd have to say that the Peter's honey has about a little better flavor than these. And the Peter's honey figs are also a little bit bigger than the uh, Celeste. The Celeste does produce uh, fair sized figs, but it has a disadvantage of being in a container, so the figs are a little bit smaller. And over here is my Black Mission fig tree. It has a very small amount of figs, it's set, but these here are fairly good size. And over here in this group are my persimmon trees. These have also been in the ground for about 18 months, and this will be their first uh, fruit set. In this group, the uh, coffee cake persimmon in the front has put on the most uh, growth, as well as uh, the most fruit set. It has a good amount of uh, persimmons that are developing nicely. This tree, as well as the uh, chocolate persimmon that I'll show you in just a few started to bloom in late April. I also have a Fuyu persimmon in this group and it was the last one to bloom. I'll show you that one in a few but first let me show you the chocolate persimmon here. Both the uh, chocolate and the uh, coffee cake, which I just showed you, those two require cross-pollination. 
this one here, uh, the chocolate, it didn't set as many as the other one, but it is putting, uh, putting on some good sized fruit. I've never grown or tasted either the uh, chocolate or coffee cake persimmon. I've read that when they are cross-pollinated, they develop a very sweet flavor. So I'm hoping they got uh, plenty of cross-pollination. As soon as I harvest the fruit off of these, I'll do a taste comparison video and let you know what they taste like. This other one here on this other side is the Fuyu persimmon. This one was the, of, of these three uh, persimmon trees, this was the last one to bloom. And it also managed to put out a good amount of fruit. And here's my ice cream banana plant. I've never grown this variety before. I've grown and harvested off of the Cavendish variety, but this would be my first fruit set off of the uh, ice cream banana. The flower buds started to emerge last December, so it's been nearly eight months and they still don't appear to be ready for harvest. The Cavendish banana that I previously harvested only took about five months. So, and that was to go from flower to harvest. I'm hoping this one will be ready soon. I had to put this brace that you see here because it was getting really heavy. So, I put the brace there to prop it up. So, hopefully this, it won't be too much longer before these are ready to to be harvested. And here is my Dorset golden apple tree. The flowers you see here are off a second set of blooms that recently started to develop. The first set of flowers started to bloom in early February and the tree managed to sit about 25 apples off the first uh, set of blooms. I started to harvest in mid-June and there's still a very small amount of uh, apples left on the tree. The apples were a little on the small size, a little bit smaller than what you find at the uh, grocery store, but the flavor was excellent off of them. And these are my jujube trees. This one in the front has a good amount of fruit developing. The fruit is still uh, fairly small, so they are still far from being ready to be harvested. These trees started to bloom in May and this one still has a small amount of flowers that are uh, in bloom. And then down here you can see a, a few of them. This is a really small yellow flower. It's very fragrant. And it still has quite a few on there. Not, not too many, but some of the branches do have a few on there. The other tree doesn't have any flowers. This other one here, it already ended its uh, blooming cycle, but it also has a good amount of fruit developing. It didn't set quite as many as the other tree, but it does have a fair amount. There's a few like this one here in the back that I put on a really good size. Hopefully it won't be too much longer before these are ready for harvest.
before ending this video, I'd like to show you my red lady uh, papaya plants. That's these three that are growing here along the fence. I've never grown this variety before, and I've never had a fruit set off of these. That is until now, I believe that right there is a fruit that is starting to develop. So far, uh, of these three papaya plants, this is the only one that's flowered. This variety is supposed to be self-pollinated, so hopefully it will be its first fruit set. Okay, that will do it for this video. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, stay safe, grow your own, and thank you for watching.